Hey, good morning. Today I'm gonna to take you through a full vlog, full day with Anthony so you can see what, the, what I get up to and I have something exciting to share with you. I don't know about you, but uh, gyms are still closed here in Canada and I'm actually gonna be training for triathlon. So most of my training has been bodybuilding focused and recently what I've shifted now is to adding more biking and more running. My current goal is to race in the half Ironman, which is a two kilometer swim, a 90 kilometer bike, and a half marathon, which is about 21 kilometers. And that's gonna be next year, next May in Vancouver, May 29th, 2022. That's the focus for this year. So I have a full 12 months. I will be working with coaches down the road and I wanna document the journey just to inspire you to work towards some goals because at the end of the day, I find what makes me the happiest is making progress on my goals. You know, I, I talked about how I'm taking a break from trading and what I'm going to focus right now is, is triathlon trading and document that I am still holding all of my shares for long-term investing. I've always been a long-term investor, but as the market was, was super hot, I was doing some short-term trading and now I'm going to go back to focusing on, on business and triathlon training now, which is new. So if you appreciate the vlog, you like seeing what I'm going through and just documenting the journey and showing all my progress how my mindset is throughout this training, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. I'm still gonna incorporate some financial videos because that's a still a huge passion of mine. Financial freedom is the ultimate goal. Money to me equals freedom, so we want to make sure we have the money thing solved. Fitness and finance are my two passions and that's my focus for, for my life, so I wanna be documenting that on this channel. And if you wanna follow along the journey, then hit that subscribe button. We're gonna be sharing vlogs, sharing more tips, on how to build wealth over time. Comment down below, what are your financial or your fitness goals? It's 8 a.m. now. What I did was I woke up at five, did a cold shower, meditated, listened to audiobooks in the shower, did my journaling, and then I did some reading. Now I'm gonna be going through a stretching routine that I've been using and been loving it. It's a 15 minute follow along runner's flexibility routine by Tom Merrick, amazing channel. So check this guy out. I follow along his stretching routine and I'm just gonna be doing that right here. Today I actually have three sessions. So first I'm gonna be doing a one hour pull session where I'm lifting weights and training some core. Then do my running session, which is gonna be four by 800 meters on the track. And then later, 25 kilometer easy bike, low zone two training, 120 to 140 beats per minute. Now, every morning, as soon as I get up, after I have my shower, I make a reds and a greens drink right here. So the total is about, that's about one liter, and this is about one third of a liter. So I'll drink a total of over one liter upon awakening as I journal and drink my coffee. And they actually act as a little bit of multivitamin. They have a bunch of vitamins and minerals, not just the reds and the greens. One thing we learned recently with my chiropractor is that my running gait is flawed in the sense that when I'm lying down, my feet actually naturally turn inward, they fall inward. And the issue with that is basically, I'm more prone to rolling my ankle because the muscles aren't active in around the, the peroneal and uh, even in the, in the calf to hold up my foot. So I've been working on some strengthening exercises, strengthen the arch. Each morning after my 15 minute stretching routine, for one minute I'll balance on one foot, pressing the big toe down, raising one knee up and doing essentially single leg deadlifts while keeping the pressure on the toe, touch the ground, push the heel while keeping pressure on the big toe. This is keeping constant tension on my arch so that way what it's forcing me to do is, is get those muscles active so when I run, my feet don't plant falling inward, they stay more outward. So that's one exercise that I do for three minutes, at least one minute, and then do the other side for one minute, other side for one minute. Second exercise is I'll grab a sock or a towel, 
and I'll scrunch it 15 times per side. So I'm using big toe, scrunch it back, pause for a second, scrunch it back, pause for a second. So I'm grabbing it with my toes, holding for a second and then releasing, and I'll do three sets of 15 on each side. Those two basically train everything to deal with that. And I'll combine that with the kinesio tape. So I'm grabbing the kinesio tape, and what I'm doing is I'm wrapping it around from the bottom of my foot all the way out to the outside so that way it pulls my feet outwards naturally. So this stays out and it keeps that tension to help so that way my feet don't roll and it trains me to have, have an improved running gait. I've been using a massage gun on my legs, my calves and quads and glutes and hip flexors about five minutes in the morning and five minutes before bed. This is just to help with blood flow and circulation to break everything up and improve the recovery process because we're increasing training volume. You know, currently I'm lifting weights about five hours a week. I'm biking just over four hours a week and I'm running two, two and a half hours a week. As my body gets used to that training volume, I'm going to be updated over time. Again, leave it in the comments below if you want me to share my full training program. Uh, I can go through that no problem, but for now we're focusing on running, biking, and lifting weights because the goal is to maintain muscle and strength as I improve my aerobic base to improve my times for the Ironman. First meal of the day and pre-workout meal. We got three whole eggs, a cup of egg whites, and a cup of oats. Eating that and then we'll do our first session of the day. It'll be our pull session in about an hour or two. The book I was currently reading this morning was Your Next Five Moves by Patrick Bet David. Phenomenal book if you're looking to really master your own mind and get strategies to move forward with your business and your team if you have a business or a team. If you don't have a business or a team, it's still great to help with decision making. So you can form a path to better your future while removing emotions, you know, processing everything logically planning out your next five moves quite literally and learning how to process problems and situations in a more positive manner. Workout shake, we got one cup of blueberries and one scoop of whey before we go run. All right, to the track we go. We're gonna be doing a two kilometer warm up around the track and then four by 800 meter repeats with a 400 meter recovery in between each one. A little light, light jog in between each one. And the goal pace is 330 to 340 per kilometer for each 800 meter interval. We got one more to go, last interval. 400 meter recovery jog, about to do right now, and then we're gonna get after it. Just finished the last interval, we did it in 251. I actually had a good amount left in the tank, so we did it at about 334 per kilometer pace. First three intervals we did at 339 per kilometer pace, and it took 255 on the dots to finish each interval. And then the last one, third one, we did in 251. So now we're gonna do about a one kilometer cool down jog go home, eat, stretch, shower, and then go train a few clients. A quad lock just came in the mail. So this is for the bike. I put a handlebar stem mount and then put the phone case on the phone, lock it in the center of the bike, 
and then I can bike with that. So super pumped for that one. Post workout meal, we're having about two and a half cups of spaghetti with some chicken thighs and ground turkey. A little bit of pasta sauce as well. We're gonna eat this outside because it's beautiful out there. 3.30 now, I showered up. We're gonna go train two clients. I'll get back just after 5.30 and we'll go for our ride, 25K easy ride. Stay in zone two, about 120 to 140 beats per minute. Just got back from training clients. It's six o'clock. We're gonna go for our 25 kilometer bike ride now and I'll see you when we get back. We'll have our last meal of the day and then after that, I'll be chilling and replying to emails read before bed and then that'll be concluding the vlog so give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it so far just a few hours left in the day and uh hope you're doing well hope you're staying positive throughout this stay grateful always focus on what you can control in life not what you can't control that's what keeps me sane at the end of the day and we're back from the ride but uh we're low on carbs here so we're gonna go to the grocery store pick up some cereal maybe some toast and then i'll whip up a last meal it's getting late now about 7 30. I just replied to some emails real quick after I go pick up the stuff, we'll eat and then I'll just read and that's it. This is what we got grocery shopping basically for carb sources. We got raspberries, blackberries, toast bread, I'll have peanut butter on that, vector cereal, carrot chips. And these carrot chips are actually dill flavored. They're, they're really good. Oats and syrup to put on the oats, low calorie syrup. It's only 30 calories per three tablespoons, so that's awesome. Ended up having about half the box of the Vector cereal. Came out to be 160 grams of carbs and about 30 grams of protein here. Gonna conclude the full vlog, full day of eating and training. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one.